All right, now we have seen some amazing features on One UI 6.1 on the Galaxy S23 as well as the S24 series. I have already posted multiple videos about the One UI 6.1 update in the past. If you have missed those videos, you can go ahead and check out the channel. Now in this video, I want to talk about some cool editing features which we have received inside the gallery application. And these features are going to be very, very useful whenever you want to edit an image or video clips within the gallery application. We don't really need any third party applications for advanced editing. The editing feature within the Samsung Gallery itself is quite advanced and I'm going to show you some of those features which have arrived on the One UI 6.1 as far as the editing features are concerned. Before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper here uh, on my home screen, you can go ahead and check the link in the description. I have left a link for you guys to download it. The credit of course goes to the designer of this wallpaper, whoever has designed it. They have done a fantastic job and if you want to get it, you can grab it from the link in the description. While you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community to know your Galaxy phones or any other Android phones better and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Now let's check out some fantastic editing features inside Samsung Gallery on One UI 6.1. First one is getting AI recommendations for enhancing the photos and videos. Now let me open the gallery here and open any of the video clips here. Now here you see we have got this eye icon at the bottom which is new. When I tap on that you see it is going to give me some uh, suggestions, editing suggestions for this particular video clip. Uh, it is giving me an option long exposure. I can uh, tap on this to give a long exposure for this particular video clip. Uh, let's move to some other clip now. Let's see what else it can recommend. Now let me tap on the eye icon for this particular video clip. You see I've got different suggestion here. I can create highlights on this video. I can just tap on this to create a highlight. You see we have got highlight option at the bottom. I can just swipe up to see the uh, or tap on this icon to see the highlights which has been created for this particular video. You see, I have got this clip, I have got a second clip here, there's a third clip and a fourth clip. There is another clip here, fifth clip, all are three to four second uh, video clips here. These are the highlights created from this particular video clip, which is just amazing. And we can select any particular highlighted clip here and just save it. This is amazing, isn't it? So we get suggestions depending on the video clip. Not every video clip will get the same suggestion. Now you see on this clip, if I tap on this eye icon, I don't get any suggestions here. Now let me just go back. Now let me just open this particular image here. When I tap on eye icon, we get some suggestions here. As you can see, we have got a background blur option and remaster option. Remaster was already there on the previous versions of One UI, but uh, this was available as an item inside the menu. But now we only get remaster option when we swipe up on a particular image or whenever you tap, uh, tap on that eye icon, you get to see this option. And we also have background blur option here. So this is how uh, the AI will suggest us some of the uh, editing options to enhance the images or videos. This is the first editing feature that we have got on One UI 6.1. The next feature is copying and pasting uh, an image or an object from one image to another image. Let me show you that. Let me open this particular image here. Now I can press and hold on this particular object or this subject here and I can drag it and go to another image. Let me just go to another image here. As you can see, I will be able to drop this particular cropped uh, object or clipped object right here on this image, which is just fantastic. Now, uh, in case if you want to edit an image by adding different uh, objects or subjects from another image, you'll be able to just drag it in a jiffy and create a collage or create or edit any, any particular image that you want. And here we'll also be able to increase or decrease the size of this object, which we, we have just pasted. And we'll also uh, get an option to delete here or we can also flip this image and we also have another icon here as you can see when I tap on this we will get another copy of the same object which is just amazing we can have multiple copies of this and add it on an image this is just brilliant we can add multiple objects from a different images just drag and drop it on another image to add it next we will be able to create our custom stickers from a particular image now you see we have got this image here i will just press and hold on this uh, object here we get these options copy share and save as sticker I can copy this object and share it with somebody else or I can just tap on save as sticker. Now you see while saving, we get uh, these different options here. We can customize this, uh, these stickers. Uh, we have got outline, cutout, vintage, cartoon. So we have got different options or different styles for a particular clipped image, which can be saved as stickers. Again, this is a very, very cool feature we have got on One UI 6.1. You see, I just tapped down done and it got added to the stickers section. Whenever you want to send these stickers, it will appear right on the keyboard. You see, when I go to the keyboard here, I'll tap on uh, create a message. 
Now while creating it, I can tap on this emoji icon. I can tap on this gallery icon here to access the stickers that I've added or created from the gallery. Next, we have got some improvements or let's say enhancement to the already existing feature which is image clipping. Now on One UI 6.1, we will be able to accurately clip the images and save them. We can exactly clip the area we want without any unwanted parts. So basically, whenever we are clipping an image, we get to edit them before saving them. Let me just tap on this image here to clip it. Now you see, when I tap on this three dot button, I get to see an option edit. I'll tap on edit. Now you see I can select the area that I want. Now in this particular image, the object has been properly clipped. This border has properly snapped onto this particular object. So there is no need to edit. But if you want to remove any unwanted parts here, you will be able to manually edit it. You see, we have got the snap to shape, select manually, deselect options. We can select on select manually to uh, uh, get rid of the unwanted parts on that particular image. Another smart enhancement we have got on One UI 6.1 as far as the image editing is concerned. Now let's move to the next one. Let me tap on a particular video clip here. Now you see, when I press and hold on the video, I will be able to see this video in slow motion. Now this works best on the videos taken on Samsung Galaxy phones. This may not be uh, possible on any clip that you selected. Some of you guys have told me that this feature is not working properly on your phone. That might be because uh, the video that you selected is not supporting this particular feature. So this supports on all the videos which are taken on the phone and maybe on some of the other videos in different formats. And this feature is very, very useful if at all you want to see something in a slow motion in a particular video. And we can not just see it in slow motion, we can also convert this video into slow motion let me show you that. Let me tap on edit. Now here we have got this brand new option called adjust speed. Here we have got four different speeds. You see when I select one fourth speed, we get to see this bar here where we can select a portion of the video to which you want to apply the slow motion effect. Now I can drag this bar here to select a portion of the video. Now you see I will just select this portion. Now I can uh, check out this video before uh, saving it. Now let me tap on play. You see it is playing in a normal speed until here and then you see the slow motion effect here. And the moment it reaches this particular uh, bar, it will play in the normal speed. You see, the moment it reaches, it is in the normal speed. Now I'll be able to just tap on save this particular video. It says you can always revert to go back to the original even after saving over it. To keep the original and edited versions separate, tap more options, save as copy. Now if you want to save as copy, you can just tap on this three dot button. You can save as copy or you can save the same video and revert back whenever you want to. Another brilliant feature. Now the last important feature which we have received on One UI 6.1 is editing videos on multiple devices. We'll now be able to continue our edits on the phone, tablet or PC. We'll be able to export the studio projects to a file that can be opened on another Galaxy device. Now when you tap on this hamburger menu button, we get this uh, go to studio option here. And here whenever you are creating a particular uh, project, we will be able to continue that project on another device, another Samsung device which supports One UI 6.1. You see when I tap on this three dot button, we get an option to import the project. I can tap on import project to import it from the internal storage, provided I have shared that project from another Samsung Galaxy phone onto this phone. Now, uh, if I tap on this particular movie, which I'm editing and tap on this three dot button, you see I've got an option to export project or share this particular movie or share this particular project, which can be shared through the quick share. You see it is saying exporting project. You see the moment it is exported, I get to see these options here. I'll be able to share this through quick share or WhatsApp or any application that I want. On the other device, you can download it and go to the studio application from where you'll be able to tap on this three dot button and import that particular project and continue editing. Again, a brilliant feature which has been added into the gallery application on One UI 6.1. Now these are some brilliant features which we have got. Uh, definitely the One UI 6.0 and One UI 6.1 are some of the major upgrades we have received so far on uh, the Samsung Galaxy phones and brought in so many enhancements and new features and we are really glad to have them on the Galaxy phone. Now you let me know which is your favorite feature, uh, drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to download this particular wallpaper and do not forget to hit that like button as well you guys take care and stay safe i will see you in the next one cheers bye bye